Hello everyone, someone from Union Repair asked me if I could do a tour of this setup, so of my tech desk. Um, so I'm going to show you it. Um, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, but Kevin, I'm too busy to keep my desk this, this clean. I bet you don't have any work going on. And that is technically true for the last, uh, for a bit now, but that's because we moved into a new location. So, um, but generally we are quite busy and I do like to keep my desk nice and clean regardless because it makes me more efficient. So if we have a look here, um, so first of all, what we see here is a UM, uh, see 34 UM95 from LG, which is an ultra wide screen, uh, 34 inches. And this is powered by a MacBook Pro 2018 maxed out except the SSD. So it can handle the stuff I've thrown at quite nicely. It's actually running Mac OS 10, but I am running Parallels and a new software called Phone Board, which is free and it works in a virtual machine as well. Um, so right here is my microscope setup. It's got a microscope camera, uh, an iPad with a thermal cam that I connected to it and the fume extractor is also on the side of it, as you can see there. So it's nice and neat at all times. So it's not in the way. I've got a lot of space here. Um, and obviously this is my lamp, my overhead lamp. The other thing I have here, which I um, sort of made myself, this is a road uh, stand. So I connected a few adapters to this and a GoPro mount that mounts onto a handlebar of a bike. And that's actually big enough to grip the nozzle of a heat gun. So instead of having these heated mats, um, I can just keep the heat on on an iPad while I'm taking the glass off. So, which is really, really great. So I can move this anywhere I want, pretty much. Uh, on this side, I got some boxes where I can put like accessories in there. These are IKEA Kallax. Um, they're really cheap, they're super cheap, super affordable. Uh, there's my cleaning box bin and refurbished screens. And then my desk is an up, standing up desk, but oh, to be honest, this entire setup is gonna be changed anyway. The general layout will be the same, but this desk will be a custom desk, so I can have it more solid for the microscope. Since this microscope is clamped on with a C-clamp, it's got a lot of pressure on the desk, so I need to get a bigger uh, plate for it, so you know, bigger, um, bigger uh, tabletop, so it doesn't wobble as much. Um, on this side here, uh, I have my heat gun. So that's a quick 861W, uh, a DW actually. Um, it replaced my Hako FR810, uh, which kind of died because of the turbine. Uh, on the right of that, I have the power supply. Now, I will say we only just moved into this new place, so um, it's not actually fully set up yet. I actually only just set this up as it is now. Uh, this has been my setup. Uh, roughly, this has been my setup for years though, so um, it's always changing anyway. But uh, yeah, so on this side I have drawers where I got all my tools in there. And also what I made today is I got all these road stands here, and this allows me to have tools up in the air uh, and out of the way, and I can maneuver them anywhere I need to. And like for example, for example, if I'm sitting down, and uh, let's say I'm doing a general repair, right? So I got this microscope I got out of the way anyway, right? So I'm doing like a say screen repair and trying to blow the dust out of the foam. Like I can just take this like this and blow it out like that. So it's not, the cable's not in the way, right? So with this here, I can also see the multimeter without taking my face out of the scope. So I can still, I can, all I have to do is glance up and I can see what's going on. So um, obviously major movements is gonna, you know, it can ruin your, your day pretty much. So if you keep taking your eyes out of the microscope, it's obviously best if you keep your face in there. Um, with this now, I also, today I also attached the thermal cam to it, which is great because, you know, with an iPad for example, and you can see here, like, it's not perfectly in line, like the thermal cam is a bit further up to the microscope cam, it's on focus right now, but, but you get the point. I can 
I can roughly see if I go on here, for example, and this is connected through the um, uh, through the uh, DC power supply. And what I do then is I just turn on, and you can see in a second, boom. There's four lines of VCC main shoulder. It's an iPhone 5C or 5S. I can't remember. So you can see that it's coming up there without having to mess about with a phone. Um, and obviously, I don't really need to. You know, I can just mess around here and without taking my face on the microscope or you know move too much uh, during the repair. Um, other than that, the fume extractor is down there, and that's obviously going to the microscope. And if I show you the cabling on that, you can see here that it's all nice and neat. And that's the fume extractor as well. And like what I call this is a dynamic workspace because I can just move stuff out of the way like this. You know, I'm still working stuff out like the cabling for that, for example. Um, but yeah, that's my JVC. Uh, Nays 2B, which is a great station. I'm going to get a bigger one soon, no, nope, because I realize that PS4 HDMI ports um, don't like the small soldering irons. They, I don't think they get hot enough. Um, but yeah, this is like the setup for the microscope, and it has pretty much everything you need, like the cable to charge the iPad as well. This is an extension cable. You usually have the Seek thermal camera directly connected to the iPad. However, um, STG repairs from Miami, they showed, or he showed, Amando, he showed a um, cable you can buy from Amazon, which is an extension. And he has a similar setup, except it's not on the scope itself. Um, he has a separate stand for it. So obviously that is also very useful, having it directly on the scope. But yeah, that's generally it. So if you have any questions about the stuff we have here, I can send you links in the uh, in the introduction to Microsoft Room Forum. And yeah, see you there.